Jesus God my words for the ones that never heard this Open up the ears of the ones that need to learn this My number one concern is we're living in a furnace The less we try to change the more it's gonna burn us Hey everybody Today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, stretch your own screens I got this little screen stretch off eBay for like I think it's like $89 I've already done one It's on 300 mesh. Working by myself uh, and not having a whole lot of business, I try to save money where I can. And one of them was uh, stretching my own screens. I'm doing this video on my new camera. It's a Nikon 3200. I got it cheap off of Facebook. Once I get it set up at a good position, I will. Uh, Start showing you guys how to do it. So yeah, here's my screen stretcher. I got cables on it so, so it doesn't pick up. I made a little table for it to sit on as well. I think it turned out pretty good. So right now, I'm going to put this cloth on. I got this cloth on Amazon. I'll put uh, links for everything on the description in case you guys want to try it yourself. So what you're going to want to do, you got these little slide rails, you want to try to get as close as you can, just kind of a little bit overlapping, not much, that way you're not wasting a whole lot, you're going to slide this rail in. And once you get the first one in, just clamp it down. You're gonna clamp that one real tight because this one is gonna hold the other three corners. And uh, while you're at it, if you've already done one, you want to set your wheels back all the way, all the way back so you got all the play, all the slack out. And once you get your first one in. I'm going to grab you the screen. Kind of pull it out the way. And you're going to set your screen on top of the bolts. Again, make sure all your rules are turned all the way back if you just did one. That way you got all the room back. And there went one of my screens. So you can see I have it sitting on top of the bolts in front of this plate. These have a plate in front of it. You want the screen to rest against that plate on top of the bolt. You're only going to be able to do three at first and after you get the, uh, the last one in and then you can slide this into position and do that one. I'm sorry about the angle guys, it's the best I could do right now. I don't really have no higher spot to put you. <laughs> I wasn't going to do this video, but I figured somebody want to save money probably wouldn't mind learning. And then what I'll do is this back corner here, since it's already cut. You 
move you guys over a little bit. I've seen guys on YouTube make these. I mean, they're so cheap, it's not even worth the hassle to weld and cut and buy glue and all that mess. But to each his own. Figure for the price of screens is definitely worth uh, making your own. Because everybody gets pop screens and you love with an empty shell. And if you live like where I live, there's nowhere to really pre screen for you. So you gotta do it yourself or buy new screens. Alright, now you can see the uh, other side here. How it's all hanging over. What you're going to do is get your razor blade. And I always cut it where the handles are, like right behind it, because I'd rather have too much than not enough. Just follow, follow it all the way down. If you follow behind their handle, then you know it's already behind the guide. That's why I do it right there. Again, make sure you loosen your wheels all the way back. That way you can just kind of pop these in, you don't have to slide them in. And you'll have some slack, and what you can do, and try to pull that out. You can actually pull it behind the bar. And as you can see, it's starting to straighten up. It's gonna have a little slackness into it, but that's okay. Because uh, once you tighten these down, you can loosen those and pull some slack out if you need to. But uh, I mean, you're about to stretch it anyway, so it's not, real, not a real big deal. You just don't want it just hanging down, you know. Get it pretty snug. And then, we'll go around to this side. And just cut it. Put you guys on the other side. You know what you're going to do. Fold it forward. Get that one set up in the position where you're going to want it to be. Fold it over. And again, always cut right behind the handles. If I lose two inches of pulp, I'm not mad at it. I'm still saving a ton of money. Once you get it down, I mean, you, you do them pretty quick. I'm kind of going slow now because if I get too fast, I can't really concentrate on talking about it and doing it. I mean, slide it right on in. Once it slid in, pull a little slack out. Tighten them up. Make sure your grooves are lined up. The bottom of these plates is just a base of a serpentine belt cut. 
and glued onto the metal. So you just line the serpentine belts up. Get, go around and give everything a little tighten. Make sure everything is tight. And then earlier when I said make sure your wheels are turned all the way out, all you're going to do now is crank it in. All right, now you see it starting to tighten. All the slack is out. And you'll see the creases start to come out. And now come around this side. So you've got creases in it. And what I do, I just go around until I get all the creases out. And then I go by feel, by how tight. See how the creases just came out? So it's got a lot of play into it still. So I just go around and tighten. This is a good thing to do on like a Sunday. So it's still got some spring to it. So you want to try to get most of that out. This being a 300 mesh, I'm not going to go crazy tight with it because, as you know, they're uh, they like to pop easy. It's got a little springy to it. I'm going to give it probably one more go around. I'm going to call that one good. On 110, you're going to want to make it make sure it's really tight. That's good for me. And now, I'm going to use this CA glue I got from Ryonet. It's a CA glue two part. And if you're going to, let me grab this camera. I don't know if you can see or not. You're going to want to put a just a small bead all the way down it. Then you'll grab the spatula that comes with it. And you're going to just spread it out. And it spreads pretty even off that one small bead. And you're going to go around and do that all four corners. Sometimes you have to add a little bit, just do a drop and smear it out. Yeah, I live in South Carolina and there's not really many screens supply stores around here that I found. I'm thinking about perhaps becoming a supplier for somebody. I don't know. I don't know if I keep a bunch of stuff in stock, I want to use it. <laughs> Alright, I got all that spread out. Make sure you put the cap on because this is uh, basically super glue. <laughs> And then what you're going to do, use this two-part, this activator for the super, for the CA glue. And you're going to go around and just go around and spray it. You don't need a whole lot. Like I said, this stuff will last you a long time if you just be frugal with it. I've already did uh, three screens and uh, that's all the glue I've used. <laughs> That's all the activator I've used. I mean, you can do a lot of screens with this stuff. And now we're just going to wait for it to get hard, which is already done. I mean, it's almost instantaneous. 
I'm using big words for you guys. It's pretty special. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I keep forgetting to say that in my videos. It's pretty important for me because uh, that's a big motivation boost seeing that people subscribing and liking your videos. And now all we're doing, we're going to take the razor blade and cut just on the outside of the screen. Just like that. Nothing to it but to do it, fellas and ladies. Nothing to it. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was, but I was wrong. It's easy. <laughs> so easy a caveman could do it. Like I said, I'm going around loosening up all these. I'm going to loosen these uh, tensioner bolts, I'm going to call them. Look at that. Like brand new. Brand new yellow. I think it turned out pretty good. Good and tight. But... That's the table I built for it. And this is a little table I've built. <laughs> Don't make fun of it. I'm, I'm not a, a master carpenter, but I am cheap. <laughs> I built this for my laptop and my little uh, cricket. But I also got this piece of plywood over there. I might use that for that. I'm not sure yet. And use this to set my shirts on while I'm printing. But anyway, that's another video. I got all those screens to do up top still. So I'll be busy for a while. Thank you guys for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. I'm going to try to put as many videos as possible out for y'all. And uh, take care. God bless. Peace. Jesus got my words for the ones that never heard this. Open up the ears of the ones that need to learn this. My number one concern is we're living in a furnace. The less we try to change, the more it's going to burn us. 